And hello there, everyone. Welcome back. I am Bogmod. We are back to playing Crusader Kings 2. Keeping an eye on the war here in the West. A war that the King of Leon is... Or the King of Castile is losing. Meanwhile, he's involved in two wars. And I, I am involved in no wars, but I'm watching and looking for potential allies. Let's see, okay, 22%, 78. So Duke William the Bastard is well on his way to becoming the King of Normandy. Here we are, here's William. Mm, ooh, prosperity of the realm increases. Duke William the Bastard of Normandy, trying to become King of England. He has some heirs. There's potential there for an alliance if he becomes the King of England. So a group of hedge knights come to visit. Count Gosfred's met with them and asked me to reply. Ooh, gregarious. More diplomacy. Vassal opinion up. Very good. Welcome them with a lavish feast. Hmm. Yes. Uh, the Hedge Knights have participated in a minor tournament in Barcelona, but one of them has been horribly hurt. I do want piety. I will. I, they can stay at the castle while they recover. Yes. We're well on our way to becoming a, a paragon of virtuous things. Special tithe. Excellent. There's money. I need money. Because if I am going to wage wars, I'm probably going to need allies and mercenaries. And a plague. So yeah, we, we have three potential allies up here. Just going to kind of wait to see how the wars shake up. And then we'll be like, hey! Because I don't want to get drawn into any of them. Not yet. Not yet. Let's take a look at you. Do you have any allies? Pacts? Here we are. See, as you can see, he has some, he has some uh, non-aggression pacts. But he has no alliances. And he is not broke, but poor. I've come to possession of the Confessions of St. Augustine. So you have tomes detailing the life and times of Augustine of Hippo, a Christian theologian from Roman Africa who lived many centuries ago. Ooh, well, it, it could give me insights to improve my learning, and thus I will read. Because mm, I need all that. Contained many truths. Ooh, plus two learning. Yeah, I certainly do not regret that. There we are. I've, d I've improved myself a little bit. Pleased with how that's going. Uh, yeah, well, of course I'm going to keep reading the Bible. I need that precious piety. Two, third, two fifths of the way there. It's 40%. 81% Duke William the Bastard. Alright, Duke William, good luck. Good luck. Let's see, never stops eating. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to try and encourage my son to get out and talk to people more. Yeah. Much better to be socially competent than to be fat, I think. If you had the choice between the two. Oh, hello. As he's growing older... Benga Ramon could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas. The art of war. Ooh. I could show bravery. But I become stressed. Become cruel. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna lose some I don't wanna die anytime soon. And I'm not a wizard, I can't just cure my stress, so uh Freddie must learn on his own. I'm sorry, my son. Daddy is, uh, is concerned about the future of the realm. He can't afford to be helping you out right now. 
No, she, I don't want her to be shy. So he's down to a thousand men. Tempting, tempting. Sacred texts illuminate me. Good. I could imprison the count. No, I can't imprison the count. Ooh, I inherited a barony from Baron Ramon of Manresa. All right, well, I must appoint a new spy master. And I'm going to appoint my kinsman, Udalard. No? Yes. Yes. Because I want people who are loyalists, because then they'll be generally faithful and accept whatever I suggest. There we go. Yes. Two of those. I need to improve my domain size. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little difficult to do at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm just going to keep the place for now and enjoy the extra wealth it yields me. Yeah, six bucks a month. See, 99% in his favor. Mm -hmm. 66%, 42%. Come on, you guys, finish your wars so that they can take advantage of. I mean, work with you. The Holy War for Castile. Hmm, that's not good. I'd rather not be the only Catholic left in the region. Yikes. Which I suppose would make it all the more important that I get a good, strong ally in France. So that if anything terrible happens, I can. I'll have someone to back me. Uh, so I, I, I do have a reason to... Yeah, I don't have to... I can attack these two lands. Because they're part of my domain. Or my de jure territory. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, do I have any stuff? Nope, no, nothing. I have no stuff. The king, he has no stuff. Oh, the Kaiser has the Iron Crown of Lombardy. Fancy. <laughs> nothing. Does the Pope got much? The Pope has the bones of St. Peter. Anything in Castillo? No. Nope. So this is kind of the thing, right? These people are all related. And as you can see, so if you're playing as one of these three, and you're sneaky, you can just murder the others quickly and inherit it all. See? Heir, the other king. Oh, I need a new court physician, apparently. Yeah, let's let's stop the plots. And what do we, who do we have? Hmm, a Jewish exile. Well, you know what? He is a renowned physician and a scholar, and he may be a Jewish man, but I, I will I will hire him nonetheless to serve ably in my court. I mean, wasn't Christ one himself? Maybe I can convert him. I'm going to build another militia. Another hundred soldiers, I think, would be well worth the, the money. Mm, no, still not done. Oh, no, no. You are done your war. Cool. You are married, but... You have a, a princess. 
She's frail. Hmm, no. So let's go with engaging my... yeah. Oh, oh, and range betrothal to my eldest daughter. This will create a non-aggression pact between us. And I want that. What do you think, King of France? Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Accept your proposal between Agnes and Prince Hughes. Cool. Oh, my second son has become a ooh, a talented warrior indeed. And you know what? You can be honest. And his twin brother has become a most talented priest. Alright then. Which means more marriages in the works. But first, let us let us let us talk to the king and see about No. From Alliance? No. That's a pity. Maybe. Well, you know what? Okay, well. If the Pope is not a fan of me, yet, perhaps, perhaps. I'm going to send him to Rome to appeal to the Pope. And if I'm lucky, if I am lucky, I will get the, the Pope... Yeah, you got excommunicated. I'll get the Pope to uh, r lift that excommunication. And get the King on my side. Yeah, see? He's not a huge fan of me, but I think I can... If I get him excommunicated, I'm sure he will love me. Alright. On the other hand, he's got 2,000 men. Well, I do have some children. I'm going to find my, my priestly son. And I'm going to marry him to a... Hmm. Hmm. You know, I will marry my countess. Princess of England? Ah, they're all kind of annoying. Or my eldest. Who can you marry? Hmm. Hmm. I may have waited too long to get some engagements underway. And they've already engaged themselves around. A lot of kids. What's this? Uh, peasants of Barcelona and time traveling. Ah, uh, oh, build a shrine. Well, it is 25, and I do want. Yeah. Go with that. Yeah. I think I. I think I delayed too long waiting for these wars to resolve themselves. Oh, there's still a chance for the king of. England, depending on how his war resolves. How is he doing, anyways? No, I'm going to keep my current steward. Sorry, my dear. I'm going to take my second son. Yeah, I think you can marry... The Princess of England. Mm. Mm. Ah, actually, the Pope likes me just that little bit more now. Yay! Can I lift that excommunication yet? No. Nope. He does love me a lot, but he really hates the king. No, he still doesn't like me enough. Political concerns, base reluctance. Um, Alright, well what we need to do then, is I have to send you 
to Paris to make the king of P France love me. Then I'll get my alliance. The French Holy War for Valencia. Hmm. Well, I'm going to definitely ponder the... Uh, ponder, yeah. What do you got here? I live my life as other men do. Eh. Most of them don't plot to marry children to other people for political land gains. Or maybe they do. But I'll ponder the Bible more deeply as I consider... So the King of France is attacking Valencia. Which is an interesting move on his part. Some alliances. What might be my chance then to launch my attack? I've got nearly 5,000 men. Hmm. Hold on. If I marry her to my eldest child, uh, he would not take that marriage. It's a shame. I guess, uh... Oh, she's celibate. That is a shame. Hmm. 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 Yeah, you know what? If he can, if he could really wound the armies of him, I would then f do a quick follow-up war. I think for at least a piece of land. Two thousand men. Get into a fight, please. I can, I can watch his numbers. Then I can launch my own attack. Ah, good. He likes me that little bit more. He would help me if I aided him in this war. Dream for alliance. I could form an alliance with him now, too. There we are. King of England, there we go. Speaking of King of England, I should make an alliance with him. What do you want? My daughter? To some random schlub? No. No, you're you're a little small to be to be worrying about. Not from the last thing. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a Catholic uprising. Excellent. It's also handy. Yes, I think I know my opportunity. Meanwhile, my my beloved Sanka de Barcelona, she will learn the arts of being a diplomat. What's this? While well, passing judgment to criminals from the safety of my throne, a young noble is brought before me. I've I've concluded he is indeed guilty. Condemning him would be not a wise choice, as he is of noble birth. Hmm. Gain prestige, lose prestige. A courtier named Joanne, and he owes me a favor. Um. Blah. Means nothing to the dungeons with him. Eh, 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 eh. Uh. Count Bill of Urgal. A holy war against the. the okay. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's boost up my 
siege equipment, because that's... Oh, I see what he's doing. So he's attacking them. And there's that army. Ooh. Okay, I don't want to attack while that army is there. But I'm happy to wait for this guy to lose. I'm also tempted to aid... Or at least join in near the end of this war. All these people, they're so quick to rush into violent warfare. Have they no wisdom? Still, 10,000 men. It's a good army. 2,000. Yeah, you know what? I think. I think now is my own opportunity. Well. Holy War for Barcelona. You know what? Yeah, now is the time to form an alliance with the King of France. He accepts my proposal alliance. Excellent. Now I'm going to start a war. For Barcelona. And then I will call upon my... My great hand. My great friend. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? I will, I will offer... Arms. If they're of the same dynasty of close marital ties. Don't we have close marital ties? Is not. Oh, we don't. Oh, right, it's not yet. Hmm. Well, that's, that can be fixed. There we are. Um, my son is your brother-in-law. Doesn't that work? Do they change the dynamics? Call to arms? No? Alright, well. Guess I'm on my own for this. Yada. Oh no! I have cramps. That doesn't sound so pleasant. My doctor will try to tend to my, my symptoms and... It's helping out. And you fool, you fool, why did you march through the rebels? Uh, ooh, I might become depressed, but I do want to gain that piety. I did it! I have a paragon of virtue! Hey, I achieved my goal. Guess I'll make my goal to become the King of Aragon. There we are. Everyone's attacking him now. But as long as he gets ignored, I'm okay. So I guess that's not close enough marital ties, eh? How is your war going? 54% in against you. Uh... Secluded penance. You know what? I can I can totally do secluded penance. Ah, now you're fighting the rebels. You. That one. Um. Doing penance. All right, but we're gonna take a little break here. We'll see if I made the right move.
And uh, we'll come back soon and see how we can make things work out. Talk to everyone later.